I am Stella and I am going to tell you a beautiful story about a monkey who takes his revenge with a king. And the story is The Monkey's Revenge. Once upon a time, there lived a king. Near his palace on a tree, there lived a troop of monkeys. The king's son always played with them. They would give them good food and fruits to eat. So the monkeys did not have to wander in search of food. The princess and the monkeys enjoyed themselves in each other's company. The leader of the monkeys was old and very intelligent. He had a keen sense of observation. In the palace, there also lived a flock of sheep. The princess's small carts were pulled by those sheep. The princess would cry with delight when the sheep carts could move around in the garden of the palace. One of the sheep had a big appetite. Whenever he got a chance, he would run to the kitchen. The cook would get angry with him and throw whatever he had in his hands at him. The old and wise leader of the monkeys had noticed this. He thought deeply about it. This sheep will go to the kitchen to eat, thought the old monkey. If the cook does not have anything to scare him away, he might take a burning piece of wood and throw it at the sheep. The sheep's wool will be on fire. He will run to the stable near the kitchen to save his life. The stable is full of dry grass. The grass will catch fire and the whole stable will be ablaze. The horses will also burn. They will then try to escape from the burning stable and horses burn can be treated only with monkey's fat. So in order to treat the horses, the king will order his guards to kill all the monkeys. Therefore, it is not safe to live here now. The leader of the monkeys called a meeting of all the monkeys and explained to them. He said, we must leave this place, go elsewhere. But the monkeys were not convinced. Who will then give us tasty food and fruits to eat? They thought. Why should we leave this place? The monkeys did not agree with their leader. At last, the leader went to live in the forest alone. One day, what the old leader of the monkeys had predicted actually came true. When the sheep went into the kitchen, the cook threw a burning piece of wood at him. The sheep's wool caught fire. The frightened sheep ran into the stable. The dry grass in the stable also caught fire. The horses began to neigh and run out. Yet many of them were badly burned. The Vaidya said, I need monkey's fat to treat the burn wounds. At once the king said, kill all the monkeys. Thus all the monkeys lost their lives. When the old leader of the monkeys got the news of the death of his loved ones, he was grief-stricken. He had lost all his friends and relatives at once. That day he made up his mind to take revenge on the king. I will not spare you the king, he said to himself. He will have to suffer as I am suffering today. The old monkey would wander the forest thinking of a plan to avenge the death of his loved ones. Suddenly he spotted a lake which was full of lotuses. Though the old monkey was very thirsty, he did not rush to the lake. He observed the surrounding area closely. He noticed that there were footprints going towards the lake, but there were none coming out. The wise monkey thought, I should not go right near the water. There is danger in entering the lake. The old monkey took the hollow stem of a lotus and drank water with it. Suddenly a water demon came out of the lake and said, Anyone who dares to enter this lake becomes my prey. But you are a clever monkey. You drank water without entering the lake. I am pleased with you. Tell me your wish and it will be granted. The old monkey stared at the demon. He saw that the demon was wearing many pearl necklaces. After thinking for some time, the old monkey said, How much can you eat? I eat all those who enter the lake, said the demon. 
the old monkey narrated his story to the demon and said, I will avenge the death of my loved ones. If you lend me one of your pearl necklace, I assure you that I will bring the king and his family to this lake. At once the demon removed a pearl necklace and gave it to the old monkey. Wearing the pearl necklace round his neck, the old monkey went to the palace. Everyone who saw the monkey was astonished. Ah, a monkey wearing a valuable pearl necklace. They wandered in amazement. When the king noticed the old monkey, he said, Where were you? And from where did you get this beautiful pearl necklace? The old monkey said, Kubera, the god of wealth, has blind, built a lake in the forest. The one who bathes in that lake gets a beautiful necklace like the one I am wearing now. Will you take me to the lake? asked the king curiously. You can come with your family, said the monkey. Each member will get a beautiful necklace. The king was pleased. The royal family sat in the palaquins and left for the lake in the forest. When they reached the lake, the old monkey said, Oh king, first let the members of the royal family go for a bath. We will go afterwards so that I can show you treasure of valuable jewelry. The king agreed. As soon as the queen and the princess entered the lake, they disappeared. When they did not appear for a long time, the king was worried. Where is my family? he asked to the old monkey. Why doesn't anyone come out of the lake? The old monkey said, no one will come out now. The water demons have killed them all and eat, eaten them up. The king was furious. He said, don't be funny, tell me the truth. The old monkey quickly jumped on a branch of a tree and said, Do you remember, O king? You had ordered to kill my loved ones to treat the burns of the horses. I am still grieving for the innocent monkeys who were killed by your men. Today I have avenged their death. Now it is your turn to grieve for your loved ones. Having said this, the old monkey went away. The king stood on the banks of the lake, wailing and mourning the death of his dear family. So children, did you like the story? Bye for now.